Simple squamous epithelium. You can find simple squamous epithelium in places like the kidney glomeruli, the air sacs of the lungs, and we're going to look at a lung tissue, lining of the heart, blood vessels, and lymphatic vessels, lining of the ventral body cavity or the serosa, and skin in some amphibians. The functions of simple squamous is to allow for easy movement of substances by diffusion or filtration. In the serosa, it also secretes a lubricating fluid. Here's our first slide. This is frog skin so that we can get a top-down view of a single layer of squamous epithelial tissue. This is using the 4x objective for a total magnification of 40 times. You can't see a lot at the 4x, but when we take it to the 10x objective, now we can start seeing the various cells. Notice simple squamous always has an irregular shape. It's not square, it's not columnar, it's just a various, um, it's neither square nor columnar, it is completely irregularly shaped. It is irregularly shaped. We can see some nuclei in here. By the time we get to the 40x objective for a total magnification of 400 times, we can actually see the irregular borders of the simple squamous epithelium. We can see the nuclei and the little dark dot is the nucleolus. And so we can see a lot of different little nucleoli in here. Now here we're looking at a lung tissue slide and the simple squamous, we're seeing it from a side view, or as we've been uh, from, we're seeing this from the side, and you can see this area here, the lining of the alveoli, is where we will find our simple squamous epithelial tissue. Here is the 10x objective. Here is the 10x objective for a total magnification of 100 times. We can see the alveoli in here. We can see the little layers of simple squamous epithelial tissue. And at this magnification, we can see a few nuclei. There's one. Here are the alveoli. There's another nuclei. And by the time we get to the 40x objective, for a total magnification of 40 times, you can see individual cells with nuclei that make up this simple squamous epithelial tissue. Here I have taken and outlined several individual cells within the lung tissue that make up the walls of an alveoli. This wraps up our, this ends our discussion on simple squamous epithelium.